Bob D. I got a new album out by a letter, and Breathe You In is a new single and video off of the album, Rock Dude. On Sony uh, AMG, a subsidiary of Sony. Um, Bob D's well connected. I call him the favorite son of New York City because he's so popular and knows everybody, and he lives in, uh, what is it, Queens Queens. there, Mark? So if you want to say a homeboy um, of New York City, uh, Queens is where he lives. Yep. A brilliant singer, brilliant songwriter, songwriter. Yep. guitar player. Yep. He's got a bass, drum, and another guitar player in his band. So it's a yep. four-piece band. Yep. And they're um, not overly edgy. It's a nice brand of commercial metal. So hard rock metal, it's in that kind of Mainstream. area. Mainstream. Right. Yeah. So if you don't like metal, you'll like what Bob D does. He has a lot of melody and uh, structure to his music. So, Correct. Um, yep. Good for Bob, and uh, he's got a girl bass player. Uh, um, that's a great thing. She stacks up to any bass player I've seen, Mark. You know, Sarah. That's the new one that's with um, him now, right like now. Like I say, yeah. his musicians are really sharp. And uh, "Breathe You In" is available. You can find it real quick on YouTube. Bob yep. D. "Breathe You In." Yep. And you'll find all the rest of the stuff quickly on YouTube. Uh, great stuff, and a band that I would highly recommend. Yep. And it's the second time he's coming to the show, and. Uh, I'll tell you, when I p- tried to pick his brain, he's been around for a long time. He knows everybody. Yeah, he works with a lot of people. <laughs> he, he's been the opening act for the biggest band in the world and uh, travels all over the world, uh, as a matter of fact there, Mark. So yeah, um, absolutely, we're delighted yeah. to have uh, Bob D. back to the show. All right, so let's welcome Bob D. back to the show. Welcome to the Rocket House, brother. Glad to have you back. to season four as we have a returning guest from Queens, New York. Welcome back to the Rockin' House, Bob D, man. You got a lot of things cool to talk about, man. New things going on, right? Hey, Marky, Brian. Great to see you guys. Great to be back on the show. I'm totally excited. I got so much cool stuff to tell you. You do, man. I don't know where to even start, but we're going to start with this. Let's start with the new released album, Violetta, which has yeah. uh, Breathe You In, new video. Of course, prior to that was Baby. Let's talk about the album, man. Oh, uh, thank you, man. Thanks. So good being with you guys. Yeah, like, man. It's like coming home with you guys. It's awesome. I love it. I love it. Yeah, love you know, world. this this album, uh, it's great. I called up all my buds on this one to help me out with this uh, for the recording. Beautiful. And I called up, uh, I don't know if you the band Cinderella, Fred Corey. <laughs> yeah, the drummer. Um, he's doing like soundtracks now out in L.A. Nice. He actually just produced and uh, wrote uh, Vixen, that band Vixen. Yeah, of course. You know? Yeah, he wrote the single and they released the um, that at the same time he was mixing my song. So I called Fred up. That's he's awesome. like an old bud of mine, and uh, nice. he said, "Yeah, man, I'll mix it. I love this song. Uh, um, when the sky follows is the title. It's nice. like a cinematic ballad, and Fred put like all strings in it. And I love it. Just nice. sounds amazing. And I also called up um, Jack Daly. Jack Daly's the bass player. He's with Lenny Kravitz for twenty years. Wow. Now he's playing with the Spin Doctors, and Jack was um, say, "Yeah, yeah, I'll do it." And then he got a big tour with the Spin Doctors. Nice. She's like, "You know what, bro? I'll just do it on the road for you." And he did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Nice. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, Matt Starr. Matt Starr, oh, the drummer. Yeah, yeah he's really no. uh, Mr. Big. No. Yeah, he uh, he killed it. The song called "Voices in My Head." I love it. Oh my God, those combination of just Jack and. Uh, Jack and Matt like just killed it, so I'm super happy. <laughs> the songs came out really cool. Yeah, and the videos are amazing. Like whoever's producing your videos is doing a professional job. Like they're they're like you know MTV worthy, MTV worthy of MTV was still around the way it was back in the day, you know. Right, right. This is a guy. Um, we filmed that uh, in a sound stage. They have the sound stage in Brooklyn. Nice. And uh, the director is from Brooklyn, so we all went there on a Sunday morning. Spent like a whole day there. And, nice. The, the venue was really cool. It had lights, like the ceiling had lights in it, and it changed different colors and stuff. And Very cool. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, his name was Vlad. Vlad. Yeah. <laughs> Vlad, yeah, yeah. He's a Brooklynite, man. A vampire or what? <laughs> <Dude, yeah. laughs> 
the dude was wanted to bring like drones to, to shoot and stuff. Yeah, that's, <laughs> stuff. that's cool. Yeah, but we had uh, Sarah Orloff um, play with us. Uh, TJ Jordan's been my guitar player for like 20 years, and Michael Manza on drums. Nice, nice. They've been my uh, New York bros, you know. And um, Sarah came in and uh, played with us and nice. on bass. Nice, nice. And of course, you were just talking about just a minute, a couple minutes ago, about how the album cover came out where you were doing a photo shoot for two hours, and then she just right. said, just do something crazy, and she got the shot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, Two that's hours rock and roll, man. We got all these cool. We don't. What I do is I do three changes, right? Yeah. We all got to do the leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first hour, second hour, I did a suit. Had these like really nice Armani's, you nice, know, nice, you nice. know Italian. And then the third one, I had this military jacket, like Hendrix used to use. Yeah, nice. Yes. With the red one, and I did that. But yeah, at the end of that, we're taking down all the set and everything, and then she's like, you know what? Go get some wall, just do something crazy, you know. Just do whatever you want. And I just went, Wah! And she captured it. Yeah, so got the cool. shot. So cool. Totally happy. I love it, man. I love it. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take a little minute of a break, and we're going to come back with Bob D, and we're going to talk about what's been going on with touring. He's been doing a lot of interviews, getting in magazines. We'll come back and talk about that in a minute. <laughs> In New York City. <laughs> so let's talk about, you know, uh, you've been in a lot of interviews. I mean, like a lot of interviews. You, you got touring going on. You're going all over the world playing your music. It's being received well. Let's talk about how things are going with that. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. Um, up to 120 in the past two months, well, it's been like since the uh, end of February, 120 interviews. It's unbelievable. Uh, press, I've been in all the magazines already, and I'm oh, wow. so happy. That's but so the awesome. cool thing is, um, in 2014, I, I started with Mark Berry, you know, AMG, yeah. Sony, and I did the Scream on the Socially Awkward album. Yeah. That was my big single. Mark got uh, licensing deals with that song. Nice. So this is kind of, album's kind of 2024, mm -hmm. kind of like, you know, a celebration of that album. Oh, cool. All the years I've been on Sony, you know. I love it. So yeah, so we're, and that year I went to the UK for the first time, did a huge tour over there. Nice. And so uh, we're looking at a tour in October, nice. September, nice. October. We're okay. leaning more toward October to go back to the UK to play. Very cool, very cool. So you're getting well received over the UK for sure uh, with, with yeah. your music. Yeah, and uh, you know, I just was in um, Fireworks magazine's coming out in June. Nice, nice. Yeah, and um, I just was in another UK magazine, um, just like um, Power Play. Yeah. Just had a review on that. I just posted online, and um, the UK loves me. Every time I go there, it's great reception. I told you the last time I was on your show, uh, we toured with Chris Holmes. Yeah, yeah. That's lost guitarist. He yes. was so cool to us. He loved my guitar player. They had both had the same setup. I love it. I love it. Very yeah. cool. So, so do we have any, uh, you know, um, new new things in the works besides the new video just shot right now? Are you even on planning yeah, uh, more stuff? Because I know you, you're always on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, we scheduled for two more videos. Um, nice. We're going to do one that Sky Falls. Um, I love it. And we have a different location that's totally beautiful. And um, right. and the third one is going to be the one I did with Jack and Matt Starr. Nice. Jack Taylor. All right. Um, but we're going to use, a lot is, he's a wild man. I got, he's got smoke machines, but we're going to use drones. Oh, cool. <laughs> get some really cool aerial shots. Us. Yeah. I don't want to give it all away, but we got this plan, you know, like this freaking oh, awesome. Man. Like, remember the old Van Halen videos, like they're running around and all yes. that? Yes. It's our, my era. I don't know about you guys. I'm a lot older, maybe, but. Oh, yeah, dude. Van Halen. Uh, so, Voices in My Head is going to be the third video, and we're going to use, like, drones and guitars flying and stuff. And super oh, excited. I don't want to give it all away, but. No, no. Yeah, I got you, man. We storyboarded it out already. I'm like, oh, man, this is going to be epic, you know. 
I love it. I love it. So you got a lot of people, like I said, you got a good team that's working with you, and everybody's working yeah. together to make things happen successfully. Uh, you got to love yeah. that. Don't you just love that? It's, 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 it's amazing. Oh, I do. I do. I'm so happy the album's out. It took so long, like over a year to record it. Right. Awesome. All right, well, you know what? We're going to come back with Bob D. We're going to talk about the gear that he plays, what he prefers to play, and a few other things as well that's coming in the future for him. Just stay around, man. <laughs> show but you know we talked about other awesome things so let's talk about bob d and his gear especially that les paul that thing's uh, beautiful man oh uh, thank you so much man i appreciate it yeah. um you know um yeah in the studio i brought all my guitars with me i have this um zometis guitar that i use in the videos and i have my les paul it's like 1980s it's from the 80s nice. Nice. yeah um it's got the most i actually bought it at manny's music here in new york the okay. r.i.p manny's music and the yeah. cool story about that is um, I tried out one Les Paul. No, the guy's like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't like it. Bring another one down. I, I went through three Les Pauls, and that was the band of baby, you know. I love it. What I do is I use that, uh, Mogami Cables. Okay. Um, it's a big thing I bought in Japan on the Japan tour. Nice. And the cool thing is I have these Marshalls from the 80s, from the old days, yeah. from my band Tokyo. Nice. Uh, the JCM 800 series. Oh, yeah, okay, yep. But I have a deal with uh, Voodoo Amps. Trace Davis is a good friend of mine that nice. um, I've known for years. Wow. So I sent him the amps, and he hot-rodded them, put nice. a mid-range mid uh, boost. The same one Joe Perry has. Love it. So Voodoo, Ch Voodoo Amps does like Joe Perry. And, uh, he's out with Smashing Pumpkins now. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, really so I cool. put that through those, and I run them in stereo. I love it. Yeah, and I got that sound and mic them up, you know, and, uh, the cool thing about it is I'll do a left side guitars and I'll do a right side guitars. Right. And then I double that and then I, even on uh, Voices in My Head, I did it four times. Yeah. Four tracks of guitars. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, right up the middle, I did that jangly part. Nice. Um, to kill here. Um, and it sounds amazing. So, is, your Les Paul is obviously your weapon of choice, it seems like. Yeah. What other guitars do you like to play other than a Les Paul? I mean... I have a, um, a, a guitar that Doc built me. Um, it has Richie Blackmore's neck on it. It's like oh, a Strat. It's a white, white. It looks like Jakey e. Lee's guitars. Okay. It's a white with the black pick card. Oh, and um, Larry, Larry DiMarzio actually hand wound a pickup for me. The original PAF. Wow. Uh, my lawyer at the time, Ronald Beanstock, is oh. his name. He's a famous um, endorsement lawyer, or music lawyer here in New York. Wow. And he was on the phone. I called him up. Hey, Ron. He goes, Hey. So yeah, I want to. I gotta get something for my tone for the strat. It's not nice. really chunky enough. He goes, I'm on the phone with Larry DiMarzio. Hang on a sec, Larry. This is Bobby D. Bobby D. This is Larry. You guys talk. <laughs> Me hung up. I was like, uh, yeah, Larry. Larry DiMarzio. Holy cow, it's you. You know, and he hand wound a PAF for me. Nice. So I'll use that too on the jangly parts. Right, 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 right. I'll call them jangly, like you know, a chorus on it, a delay part. So you, you, you're kind of like how I like to be, and Johnny is also in my tribute band, using separate pedals. You don't like to yeah. use like a, 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 uh, a stomp box that has, well, you know, has all the things all connected in one circuitry. Yeah, no, I don't like that. I like to do the separate pedals, you know, yeah, different, yeah. Uh, different layering, I guess you'd call it. I have a yeah, chorus. Yeah. Uh, I have an OCD pedal. Nice. Full tone, one of the original ones. Uh, nice. Very cool. 
Very yeah. cool, man. Uh, so, like I said, man, you know, I appreciate you coming and stopping by the Rockin' House. Me and Rock, dude, it's always a pleasure to have you. We'll have you on again, and we'll be in touch for sure. Um, I want to do is, uh, to you guys out there, I want to feature Bob's new Breathe You In video he just put out there. Uh, we're going to have that featured on the show, so stay with us. It's coming up in a minute. Uh, and I want to say thank you, brother, for coming to the show. Great things right, happening right. in the future for you that I see. God bless you. Stay safe. I'm Marky Z with Rock Dude, and we're out. All right, peace.